Hello, my DNA analysts. You guys today are gonna to be practicing micropipetting by doing this activity called pipetting by numbers and making something that might look sort of like this. This is my example of pipetting by numbers. So here is what you're going to need for today's activity. You need both your P200 and your P10 micropipetter. You also need the tips that go with the P200 and the tips that go with the P10. You should have a piece of canvas from your teacher that has a little number in the corner and it has circles all over it that you're going to pipette into. You will also need five microtubes which have five different colors of dye and they have letters on the top. So the Y is for yellow, R is for red, P is for purple, B is for blue, and N is for navy, which is slightly different than blue. Finally, your teacher may have given you a little test strip and a small rectangle, and I'll show you guys in just a moment what you can use these for. So here's how to read your canvas. When you look at it, the letter is for the color. So N is for navy, P is for purple, Y is for yellow, and the number is for the volume that you're going to pipette into that area. Anything that is 5 or 10, you're going to use your P10 for that. Anything that has a 20 or bigger, so 20 to 40 it looks like is as big as they go, you're going to use your P200. However, it gets a little tricky when you have one that is between their values. Because as I taught you before, you cannot go below 20 on a P200 and you can't go above 10 on a P10. So what do you do when you have a 15? You have to go with the smaller pipette because you can never turn the P200 below 20. So you're going to take your P10 and you have a choice. You can set it to 10 and do a 10 and then do a 5 on top of it. Or you can set it to 5 and do three fives in a row. I am setting my micro pipette to five and I'm gonna go ahead and do three fives in a row because I prefer that over trying to uh, change the volume. So this is a Y15, which tells me I need to use my yellow die. And when you do it, pipette right into the center of the circle and go fairly slowly just so you don't make a mess. Make sure you push to the first stop to get your liquid and then to the second stop to expel all of your liquid. It might not fill that space exactly perfectly, and that's okay, it should roughly fill it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Y5 since I already have my pipette set to five. And there's a couple different strategies for this. You can either do all of the same color, changing your volumes as you go, or you can do all of the same volumes and change your color as you go. Either way, if you change your color, remember to change your tip. So I'm now going from yellow to blue, so I'm gonna expel my tip. And this is the eject button. So I'm gonna press the eject button while I'm holding it into my container, eject my tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a new tip. Since I'm already set to five, and I see an N5 and a B5, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some more fives before I move on. If you're working with a partner, I would recommend having one partner use the P200 and another partner use the P10 and just decide which circles you can each fill up. So if you wanna do a little practice before you get started on your beautiful canvas, you can pipette into the test strip. Remember the cardinal rules of pipetting are never ever turn the pipetter out of its range. The P10 goes from 0.5 to 10, it's set to five right now. Never go below 0.5, never go above 10. The other rule is cover your tips. So it's always important to put the lid on when you're not using your tips to keep them as sterile as possible. And the third rule is when you have liquid in your tip, never invert your micro pipette. Don't flip it this way because the liquid can then go into the shaft of the pipette and contaminate it. Okay, now let's see what pipetting you can do. Once you are done with your piece, we're gonna put all the pieces from the class together and it's gonna make a beautiful mural that we can hang up in the classroom. 
Okay guys, it's your turn. Happy pipetting.